I realize you're going slow, but you could catch an edge and take me out for the season. Yeah, and, and I just you realize said, that, right? And I just said, I gave There's you no a There's no reason to be a dick about it. So apologizing is a dick. The worst thing about a powder morning is having to deal with the snow plow, which we're going to do now. Then we're going to go hit up like 10, 11 inches at Keystone, and we're going to bring the GoPro 11 and the Insta360 X3. The worst part, seriously. You shovel once and they come right by and... And yes, I have a snow blower, but I just clear enough to get the hell out and get to the mountain. I'll come back and snow blow and clean all this up when we get home. On a day like this, the parking lot fills up quick. People are in good spirits. It's it's a happy pow day on a weekday, and you just can't beat that. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our face are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright In total control. If I gave you a fright, my apologies. Yeah, again, if I gave you a fright, my apologies. In total control. Yeah, you're right next to the drill. We're gonna have those conversations. Again, if I gave you a fright, my apologies. You realize what you just did, right? Yeah. You came right behind me. I realize you're going slow, but you could catch an edge and take me out for the season. You realize that, right? And I just said if I gave you a fright. There's no reason to be a dick about it. So apologizing is a dick? No, but you pretty much were a dick when you were coming down here, man. Again, you didn't need to if be. I gave you a fright, my sincere apology. You didn't give me a fright, you'd be going a dick needlessly. And now we're both. Well, no, I'm, I stopped being one. You're being one. Now That's I am fine. being one. Yep, okay. you're right. That's fine. Again, I'm <coughs> trying to reach out and say, I'm sorry, dude. So you, you can either accept it or what, what do you want me to do? I'm accepting it. I can't it. go back up and redo it. So no, my I'm apologies, not. bro. Yep, you okay? have a good day. It's like pointless to argue, and it is what it is. So when you run into a yellow jacket and they start throwing attitude, just be nice, squash it. They deal with a lot of shit. I get it, man. Like, like maybe a lot of other people aren't in control and would have fallen or who knows. You're out here to have a good time. So just, just be nice, get it over with, and move on. Pattern here, you gotta have some angles, man, because like those how it slows you down instantly when you hit deep stuff. A lot steeper. I did this run the other day and it was amazing. This entrance is gonna suck though because it's just not that steep. So a little bit of suckage or hopefully hopefully a good run. I'm making it for someone else. 
Jesus. Making first tracks on this run, which is a really sort of not much of a pitch to get into it. But once we get in there, there's some good trees. We should be able to lap it hopefully a few times before anybody else gets over here. This is where I really love having Bert and step ons because you can just and step right on in the powder. You don't have to deal with strapping. It's so much easier. So all you naysayers out there, hey, what about the step ons on a powder day? Well, they're pretty fucking awesome on a powder day. It's just like that. We're in and ready to go. It doesn't matter if you live up here at nine, 10,000 feet. Where's the fucking steep shit from the other day? When you get stuck somewhere with no pitch in a 10 inch plus day, it's so tiring. Okay, this run sucks on a powder day. Another day, whoa! This run was really fun. Today it is not, because I'm gonna be hiking and wasting all my energy in this. I screwed up big time. I thought it was steeper than this. Obviously it's not. Uh, lame. I'm the only one here. So it's still a powder day and it's still awesome no matter what. It's just gorgeous. Ha, ah, someone followed my tracks, which means they'll be over here in a minute and they'll go in front of me and then I'll be able to use their tracks to get some speed and get through these slower areas. Now I should be able to get it. Sucks ass on a powder day. We will not be coming back today to this run. The battery on the X3 made by Insta360, all these shots you saw prior to this, which is why the pole disappeared. I have it linked in the description below. We've now switched to the GoPro 11. We're gonna cut through the windows and do a couple more runs and then get out of here because it is a work day and I do have to get to the tattoo studio to do some really cool tattoos on some cool people today. We're not gonna let that earlier vibe fuck with us. It's a deep powder day. No one else can fuck with our heads on a day like this and they shouldn't ever with yours either. When a yellow jacket gives you shit, your best bet is to just apologize. When they're on the mountain, they think they're like a cop. And if you fucking start lipping off, they'll just take your pass. Later, guys. Yeah, man. My first time back in the windows for the season. It looks like it should be a good day. Hopefully I can get enough speed to get far enough down it to get some tracks. I don't feel like hiking up more. And this is where everybody stops. So as you can see, it's pretty tracked out everywhere. But we're gonna make a hard left, I think, and see if we can find some fresh. If you are not used to riding in trees and you ever go in by yourself, just don't charge it as hard as you normally would if you were with buddies because there are all these branches sticking out of trees which would fucking impale you. Side side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. 
time, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right I do think my favorite thing about trees is stopping, making like a big snow beanbag chair, and just chilling for a little bit by yourself. It's really like hiking without having to hike. It's just gorgeous, man. What an incredible sport, hobby, thing to do. It's just, just it's amazing. So this is sort of like what a tree well is, and you don't want to get stuck in it. I mean, this one would be all right, but you gotta be careful. Look at this, I've never even known that was there. Crazy. Branches and logs we gotta go over to get back on run. So we wanna keep our nose up. Oh, shit, I'm sinking. This is not fun. All right, whoa. Okay, rocks. Without a clear landing behind him. Whoa, it goes rocks. All right. Whew. I fucking don't know where I'm going. I've never been down here before. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna do some walking. Oh shit. Oh, so close. Come on. Little momentum. Little momentum. Yeah. Whew. All right. I don't know where I'm at. Where am I? Okay, no, this works. Just gonna get up to the run. Thank goodness for step on. day is over. I gotta go home, shovel the rest of the snow, get the snow off the roof, and get up to the tattoo studio because I got appointments all day. So if you aren't following my other channel, TattooStories.com, if you're into tattoos, and sort of what happens at the shop week to week, I'll put a link to that down in the description below. Let me get changed real quick. And now, also, you can follow my Instagram for the shop. Personal one if you want to see lots of pictures that I take from the still shots from the 360 cameras. I appreciate you staying to the end and hopefully you enjoy this video. Just because I had an experience with the yellow jacket where the guy was sort of You know, everybody has a bad day. When I first watched the video, I was like, well, shit, he was an absolute that's great customer service, Keystone. Great customer service. Maybe have a meeting and go over things with your, your yellow jackets about that kind of stuff. Everybody has a bad day, so no hard feelings, Mike, but if you do come to the tattoo studio to get a tattoo, you might want to like rethink how you acted and come in with a handshake, like I tried to do you. Besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one.